the CVT helps save fuel and improve driving comfort. It is also easier and cheaper to manufacture than conventional automatic transmissions. However, continuously variable automatic transmissions have failed to take over the market. Not everyone is satisfied with the way the variator works, and, what's even worse, sometimes they break. CVT is an abbreviation for continuously variable transmission, which means continuously variable transmission. The CVT is an unusual transmission in many respects. Instead of classic gears, it uses a steel belt or chain that runs between two pairs of bevel wheels that form a pulley. The wheels are mounted in pairs on the input and output shafts. Each bevel pair can move closer to each other or diverge, due to which the radius of the pulley changes infinitely, and a smooth change in the gear ratio is achieved. In this case, torque is continuously transmitted from the engine to the wheels. When driving at a constant speed, the engine operates at unusually low speeds, which helps reduce fuel consumption and increase comfort. Users of cars with CVT emphasize the exceptional smoothness of movement, without jolts or jerks when starting. CVTs are usually smaller and lighter than classic automatic transmissions. Therefore, they are often used in small city cars, especially Japanese brands. But if everything is so good, then why is the share of cars with CVT so small? It is quite difficult to single out the main reason. But many drivers are not satisfied with the specific operation of boxes of this type. You add gas, and the engine, howling loudly, reaches high speeds without noticeable acceleration. It only becomes quiet when moving at a constant speed. Car enthusiasts who like to press the gas pedal harder to the floor find this behavior of a passenger car annoying. However, this is mainly the case with continuously variable transmissions from the 80s and 90s. About 10 years ago, CVTs with so-called virtual gears began to appear on the market. In this case, each gear is assigned a certain relative position of the bevel wheels. You can select the required gear, for example, using the steering wheel paddles, oars. I have good news for you, now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet, we have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carme.pro, here you can find out everything about the car what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car. You will learn all this on carme.pro. This solution has been used since 2005 in Audi vehicles equipped with the Multitronic continuously variable transmission. In normal mode, the box behaves like a classic CVT, i.e. maintains high revs during acceleration. And the CVT simulates the operation of an automatic transmission only after switching to sports mode. CVTs, conditionally, can be divided into two groups, with a steel belt and a chain. Continuously variable transmissions also have a torque converter. It is needed, first of all, for starting from a standing start. Remarkably, Multitronic does without it. These boxes use a clutch pack and a dual mass flywheel. The CVT transmission has a number of serious limitations that engineers have not yet been able to overcome. For example, for design reasons, neither a chain nor, especially, a steel belt is able to transmit high torque. Because of this, the scope of application of CVT is currently limited to the maximum engine torque of 350 to 400 newton meters. However, this threshold exceeds the performance of many modern engines. However, Audi is already beginning to abandon the use of continuously variable multitronic gearboxes. At the same time, other manufacturers are working hard to improve the design of the variator. This is how Subaru demonstrates all new models equipped with turbocharged gasoline engines, all-wheel drive and a continuously variable CVT gearbox, for example, Lineartronic for Levorg. Probably everyone who is even slightly interested in cars has heard about Audi's problems with multitronic gearboxes produced by Luck. In the old type CVT, 1999 to 2006, the control electronics constantly fail, the mechanical part fails and the circuit wears out prematurely. 
It is noteworthy that the chain was used precisely to transmit higher torque, but the engineers miscalculated its strength. Over time, the Germans have significantly improved their boxes, but problems still occur. Other German CVTs are also not credible, for example, ZFVT 1-27T, used in the Mini R50-R53, and Mercedes 722.7-722.8 for A-B-Class models. Japanese designs cause much less trouble. Although, the JATCO Variator, used in various Nissan models, for example, Kosh KJ11, also belongs to the risk group. A common problem with CVT transmissions is the limited availability of spare parts and the reluctance of some mechanics to deal with CVTs. The undisputed leader in terms of reliability is Toyota, Lexus, CVTs. A continuously variable automatic transmission, despite its relatively simple design, is quite complex and expensive to operate. In addition to electronics and belt-slash-chain failures, premature flywheel wear can also occur. It is worth noting that the dual-mass flywheel is used only in some cars with CVT, Audi. The most important thing is not to forget about regular oil changes. Unfortunately, not all manufacturers recommend it. If the service center tells you that you don't need to change the oil in the variator, then just look for another workshop.